Hey there, my good friends. Welcome to our newest video training series, where we are going to show you the newest, hottest ways to crush it with the oldest, yet most results-oriented online marketing method there is. Yes, we are talking about none other than viral marketing. And in Section 1, Viral Marketing Basics, we will be discussing the basics in order to get you up and ready for the practical stuff. The contents in this section include, what is online marketing all about? What is viral marketing? How can viral marketing help your business? Shocking viral marketing facts to consider. So, let's give this course some background and fire off this first section by answering the following question. What is online marketing all about? We are all familiar with the word marketing, and we all have a pretty good idea of what marketing is all about. Building a strong brand presence by spreading a brand-centric message. Yet, we often fail to properly identify what marketing is all about. Thinking of it as nothing but paid advertising, which is actually just one of the many ways that there are of driving a marketing message. To illustrate this point, we can all recognize a brand-sponsored billboard on a busy venue as advertising, and can rightfully categorize it as marketing. Yet, we would mostly fail to identify a brand-centric conversation between random people on the streets as marketing. This is important to understand. Because a marketer needs to identify every possible way of driving brand-centric conversations outside of traditional advertising channels. In that sense, marketing needs to feel natural. And make no doubt, it is the same on the Internet. Online marketing can be strictly conceptualized as the process of promoting a business, a brand, a product, or a service all over the Internet using the right type of marketing strategies and tools that can drive online-specific objectives, such as increasing traffic, capturing leads, and getting more sales. Yet online marketing is a very broad term that encompasses a wide range of online marketing tactics and strategies. That is, every possible activity that can help a marketer achieve a business objective online can be considered as doing online marketing. More so, the term online marketing is nowadays used interchangeably with the term content marketing which is defined as an online marketing approach focused on distributing value through content. Coincidentally, an online marketing campaign that does not deliver valuable content is simply doomed to fail from the get-go. Hence, the interchangeable nature of conceptualizations that currently describe the same process. This groundbreaking shift in priorities has changed the way online marketing is done nowadays with newer online marketing strategies taking the spotlight alongside classics such as email marketing and banner ads. Examples include search engine optimization, or the process of refining online content in a way that makes it rank higher in search engine results when potential customers use search terms that match keywords in said content. Social media marketing. Using social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest to drive organic brand-centered conversations has become a must in this socially connected modern-day Internet. Video marketing. Online video is now more popular than TV, and there are thousands of businesses making lots of money by using video-sharing platforms to promote their products. These new developments are great and all, but what if you can give them a little edge? What if you could take them to the next level? What if you can go, let's say, viral? Tune in to our next video to learn more. What is viral marketing? Hey there, my friends. As you might know now, marketing is all about spreading the word about a brand, a business, a product, or a service using the right type of strategies and resources across channels more likely to be effective when it comes to reaching the right audience with our marketing message. Online marketing is just like that as well, with the added emphasis on delivering valuable content to the right audience at the right time. Now, there's one seemingly innocuous characteristic of online marketing that gives it an immense advantage compared to offline marketing. Reach. Offline marketing's reach is no match to online marketing's, which has the advantage in all fronts, from costs to available marketing channels to demographic reach and timing. Online marketing can easily reach a lot more people across many geographical locations at a faster rate and at a much lower cost when compared to offline marketing. Besides, online marketing has another trick up its sleeve. It can go viral. Now, all of us are also familiar with the phrase going viral, 
and we can mostly agree on what going viral means on a very superficial level. That is, that going viral means to spread really fast and to reach a lot of people in a very short time. But going viral is not something that is specific to marketing. In fact, going viral is something that occurs by accident or luck most of the time, as there is no certainty as to whether something will go viral when it first appears. That is because a piece of content will go viral if enough people are enticed to share it virally. Examples of things going viral are ample. Memes, videos, songs, and even pictures go viral out of sheer coincidence just because they hit an emotional button that makes people want to share them with everybody they know. And then there is viral marketing. Viral marketing is simply marketing that is designed to spread virally. Simply put, it is marketing that is created to go viral and it is defined by the following criteria. Viral marketing is designed to generate interest in a brand, business, product, or service. The goal of a viral marketing campaign is to drive results from generating awareness about what it promotes. It isn't considered viral marketing if it eventually doesn't generate business-centric results such as increased traffic, more leads, or sales. Viral marketing doesn't happen by accident or luck. In fact, all viral marketing content spreads because there is a well-designed viral marketing campaign to back it up. Viral marketing campaigns follow the same structure of common online marketing campaigns while adding a viral element to them with the intention of incentivizing targets to share the promoted content. Which means that viral marketing campaigns are mostly target-driven. The buzz around viral marketing campaigns is created by target interest. That is, the more the target audience shares it, the more successful a viral marketing campaign is. Viral marketing campaigns are simple to build and execute. Because you will only need to create an engaging piece of content such as a video, to set off a starting point, and then to redirect it to the appropriate channels. One basic template of how a viral marketing campaign works is a viral video that spreads from YouTube to social media and then to instant messaging apps, and so on. But fast audience response and a wildly wide reach are not the only benefits of viral marketing. Do you want to know how else viral marketing can help your business? Tune in to our following video to learn more. How can viral marketing help your business? The benefits of a well-crafted, properly executed online marketing campaign that doesn't limit itself to a single set of banner ads on a single advertising platform can't be underestimated. A marketing campaign that reaches its targets across all possible channels has a greater chance of generating more awareness, more steady traffic, and long-term sales cycles. Now, when you boost a marketing campaign by adding viral elements to it, and you succeed in making it go viral, there are additional benefits beyond allowing your business to create an emotional connection with its potential client base. Here are the most relevant ways in which viral marketing can help your business. It helps to build your brand. Viral marketing is one of the most powerful ways to drive brand awareness among members of your target audience, and even on people outside of it because it's the people themselves who will be promoting your stuff for you if you do the first steps of your viral marketing campaigns right. The good news is that brand awareness generated through viral marketing creates a very long-lasting impression and greater brand recall because it is generated through the emotional reward of sharing and through sheer repetition of your marketing message across your target channels and beyond. It helps you to better understand your audience. Your first few viral marketing campaigns will become one of your greatest sources of audience data because they will allow you to understand what it is that your audience wants and what they care about. Knowledge that you can use to know exactly what type of content you should create in order to stir people's emotions. Remember, people are more likely to share content that is related to their innermost interests and viral marketing is fueled by people's inclination to share what they like. It helps you grow your customer list. A well-executed viral marketing campaign will allow your business to better connect with qualified clients if you follow up with them after engaging them. The word-of-mouth effect from your campaigns will in turn encourage them to share your content with others the next time that you share it, increasing your chances of growing your customer list through referral channels. It provides your business with short bursts of quick, incremental growth. 
the viral nature of viral marketing will allow you to drive more traffic and quick conversions with each new campaign, which means that your business will grow by small percentages as well by retaining momentum from these campaigns. It converts your business into an authority. Viral marketing can transform your business into an online authority in your niche, thanks to the power of social proof. That is, the more people that share and discuss your content in a positive way, the more of an authority your business will be perceived as being. It lowers your marketing costs in the long run. Viral marketing will allow you to cut a significant amount of your marketing costs once you have a large enough following virally sharing your content, which means that your audience will be doing the marketing for you. Do you want to learn more about why viral marketing is still as hot today as it has ever been? Check out our next video to find out. Shocking Viral Marketing Facts to Consider Successful viral marketing campaigns generate over 1 million impressions in short amounts of time, with some campaigns generating from 10 to 100 times more impressions. So far, one of the most widely used ways to generate traffic with viral marketing is to capitalize on controversial topics, as that is the easiest way to spark online conversations and getting people to take sides in the discussion. Controversy leads to compulsive sharing, not because of cheap shock value, but because it subtly offers a differing point or new angle to a topic that deserves discussion. Adding a little controversy to content makes it very, very likely to go viral by triggering extreme emotional responses on the target audience. Now, this tactic might sound a little controversial in itself, but bear in mind that only campaigns that have used controversy in a positive way have gone wildly viral, such as Kleenex's Unlikely Best Friends campaign. In order for a marketing campaign to go viral, its content needs to elicit the following emotional responses. Ah, surprise, joy, pride, hope, courage, or humor. Engagement generated from viral content is used by the Google algorithm as signals to increase the site search ranking. Metrics such as number of relevant authoritative links and social engagement generated from viral marketing campaigns have been seen to increase site visits as much as 750%. There is such a thing as a viral coefficient, which describes how likely a viral marketing campaign is to break through the noise and go viral. Viral coefficient can be understood as a number of new targets reached generated by one target, or the total number of new leads or impressions referred by each lead that is reached by the campaign. Going viral successfully is the result of having a viral coefficient above one, or of generating one or more leads or impressions per each target reached with the campaign. If the viral coefficient is below one, it means that viral sharing is diminishing and that the viral campaign needs to be optimized. Of all social media platforms, Instagram is driving the largest number of marketing content going viral, with 49% of photos and 60% of videos on the platform reaching over 250 interactions. In contrast, Facebook posts have a hard time reaching page fans, with only 6% of them seeing potentially viral page-promoted content. Contrary to popular belief, long-form content gets way more shares than short-form content, with content that is 3,000 to 10,000 words long getting over 1,000 more shares than shorter content. Marketing content with images is twice as likely to go viral than content without images, with over twice the people sharing image-rich content when compared with content with no visuals. Having an influencer sharing your marketing content can easily multiply the number of times it is shared thus increasing its chances to go viral. The good news is that you don't have to convince Oprah or any other high-caliber celebrity to share your campaigns. It will be enough to reach a person who is able to multiply shares by at least two for every person he or she reaches. Hello there once again, my good friends, and welcome to Section 2 of our online viral marketing video training series, Viral Marketing Step by Step. Here we are going to discuss the characteristics of viral content, how to create it, how to make it go viral, and where to make it go viral. Contents in this section include 
the anatomy of viral marketing content, the best ways to deliver viral marketing content, where to find the right audience for going viral, getting started with a viral website, getting viral marketing ideas before creating content, creating a profitable viral post. So let's start by taking a look at the basic elements that make online content to actually go viral. The anatomy of viral marketing content. So, what does a piece of viral content actually look like? This is a question that deserves a detailed answer. Because, as you might have heard from us beforehand, viral marketing campaigns don't go viral by accident. The way they go viral can be best described as a result of a combination of content-bound elements that encourage campaign targets to forward them virally. And in this video, we are going to show you what these elements are with a few examples. Titles that trigger a sensation of immediacy or of missing out. The secret behind making someone want to click through a piece of content based on his title text without going full-on clickbaiting is to add curiosity-inducing keywords and phrases to it. And to increase the chances of making said content to go viral is to phrase titles in a way that implies scarcity or that hints to the idea that the campaign target is missing out on something that has been kept secret to him or her or that is just becoming public knowledge right at that moment. The negative phrasing includes statements such as, you won't believe, you should stop, you should avoid, and things you didn't know, among many other combinations. Our example of choice is this post which has been titled, 30 Things You Should Stop Doing to Yourself. It has been shared over 670,000 times on Facebook alone, and that is because its title alone ignites curiosity by telling people that there are 30 things that they should stop doing that they might have not been aware of up until that point, which suddenly forces them to immediately click and then to share because they would want to spread the satisfactory nature of the content they just checked. Numbered Titles and List-Based Content Have you noticed a trend among popular sites that promote other sites' content? And that these pieces of promoted content generate ad revenue by going wildly popular? Well, that is no coincidence. They are designed to go viral. And you might have noticed that the most popular viral articles have the following things in common. The titles include a numbered item. The articles inside are list articles. Starting in the early 2000s, some websites noticed that their traffic exploded once they started experimenting with list articles, which consists of long-form content divided into smaller, numbered chunks to make it easier for people to read through. Websites then realized that all they needed to go viral even for short periods of time was to create list-based articles with titles that teased readers to click through. If you are a marketer, you might also recognize that this same formula works when setting up sales pages and lead magnets. Cracked.com is a great example of this. It generates over 300 million views a month by updating the site daily with list articles. And as you can see, just by hanging around the site, most article titles follow a simple formula. Numbered items, niche or trending keywords, and negative phrasing. Content that is easy to consume and skim through. Do you know why scientific abstracts and papers have never gone viral in like ever? Well, the reason why is because they're just not easy to read. And they don't offer an immediate reward. What you will usually see going viral more often, though, is content that is easy to read and, most importantly, content that you don't need to digest completely to enjoy it. In other words, content that you don't have to read in full the first time you click through it, and that in fact offers enough value in its simplicity as to be worth a second or third read. That right there is the real marker of a piece of viral content with evergreen potential. Going back to the viral post that we showed you earlier, the one titled 30 Things You Should Stop Doing to Yourself, you can see how easy it is for you to simply skim through the subtitles while being able to understand what it's all about and why the information might be worth sharing with others who will then replicate your behavior. Why is that? Because people might enjoy reading the headline, the first paragraph, and then skim through all the way to the end of the article which you can benefit from by placing your affiliate links, sales page links, or sign-up forms in the middle and at the end of your viral posts. Sharing buttons. Share buttons are a must. Content that integrates share buttons is seven times more likely to spread virally. The easier it is to share the content, the better, as you can see on this website, which places share buttons on the lower bar and right above the user's taskbar. This makes it easier for anyone to share this content at any moment while reading through, and not just once the content ends, 
which is a missed opportunity because a lot of people won't read through the content in its entirety the first time, and they will be less likely to share it once they go back to finish consuming the content. Video repurposing. All of the previously discussed attributes can be repurposed on video format. That is, you can repurpose those same strategies to create viral video marketing campaigns such as this. Six reasons to go Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10 Affiliate marketing video campaign, which has generated over 1 million views by applying the exact same formula as list-based content. Easy to digest yet smart, informative content, and number title. Now that you know what are the ingredients that make content more likely to go viral, it is time for you to learn what are the best ways to deliver your viral content for marketing and business purposes. See you in our next video. The Best Ways to Deliver Viral Marketing Content Hey there, my good friends. In our previous video, we showed you what the elements are that make content go viral. Whether isolated or in combination, such elements play a role in helping a marketing campaign to go viral, as well as when applied to the contents that make up the actual campaign. But what about delivery? There's no doubt that delivery plays a role and is as important as the marketing content itself. And in this video, we are going to tell you all about the best way to deliver your online viral marketing campaigns no matter what audience you plan to target. Viral Posts Most viral marketing campaigns start in the form of a website post. There is a number of reasons for this, but for marketers, the number one reason is because making a viral website or a blog post to rank high in search engines is one of the best ways of creating organic relevance for a product or brand when it is just being launched. Viral website posts are also a great way of making sure that your viral marketing message gets as much visibility and traction as possible because they are easily shareable and can include text, images, videos, and interactive media, as long as every element in the post is relevant to the brand or business being promoted. Viral videos. Video is also a great format for delivering awesome viral marketing campaigns. And in fact, Lots of brands use video as a way of revamping their influence and of raising awareness among the youngest members of their target audience. One of the greatest advantages of using video as a viral marketing format is that it allows marketers to deliver their marketing message in a visually striking way that engages targets with sight and sound. And once a viral marketing video spreads, there is no stopping it until it reaches peak engagement. Viral Emails Email is still one of the most effective marketing channels around, even after all these years of mobile and social media developments. The effectiveness of viral email marketing can be attributed to how email campaigns allow marketers to leverage people's networks to forward their marketing message. What's also great about viral email marketing is that it can be used to spread any type of viral marketing campaign by using email as a vehicle. For example, you can create a viral marketing campaign that consists of an email that links to a viral blog post that links to a viral marketing video. Viral Social Media Marketing Social media has become one of the most significant drivers of viral content since its very inception because they were all about sharing. And marketers have taken advantage of this fact in the smartest ways possible, even coining the social media marketing term to describe the use of social media platforms to launch and spread marketing campaigns. Social media can be used as a channel to spread any type of viral marketing campaigns, no matter the format, because basically all social media platforms, especially Facebook and Twitter, are designed to allow users to easily share whatever content reaches their timelines. Whether it is a viral marketing video, a link to a viral marketing website, or a link to a viral email marketing campaign sign-up form. People only have to click on a simple share button after reacting to a piece of viral marketing content without a second thought, which helps the campaign to have a very wide reach and impact. Alternate Reality Games An alternate reality game is a network-based type of viral marketing narrative that extends to the real world. Alternate reality games are often used to deliver online viral marketing campaigns, 
and their role is to seed a campaign by igniting an online invitational campaign to encourage people to participate. The intention of seeding a viral marketing campaign this way is to get as many people to join the game through viral marketing vehicles such as email invitation forwards and social media tagging. And once the campaign starts, people are given instructions to complete activities in the real world. These activities are designed to unravel a narrative around a product or service. The difference between this strategy and non-interactive viral marketing is that it involves people participating in the marketing narrative. The goal of alternate reality games is to spark conversations around a product or service, and they are a very effective viral marketing vehicle because they involve multiple platforms at the same time and also because they permeate people's daily lives to the point that daily interactions become an opportunity to recruit new players who will keep spreading the marketing message. Okay, so now that you know what the most effective viral marketing formats are, where can you find the audience most likely to react to them? We're glad that you asked, because we're about to talk about it in our next video, so tune in. where to find the right audience for going viral. Hey there, my friends. So now that you've got yourself a good viral marketing campaign idea, you might be eager to set it up. But how do you know in advance if your viral marketing idea will actually work? And who is more likely to react to it in a way that helps you go viral? Wonder no more. Because here's our list of the top places to find the right audiences for going viral. Google. You can use Google as a source of audience for your viral campaigns by collecting information about how people talk about your products. In our example, we are planning to go viral in the healthcare niche. Specifically, we are going to target the diabetes niche keyword to promote our diabetes care made easy business. And we do so by entering our target keyword in Google. That way, as you can see here, we are able to retrieve all kinds of trending information about the niche audience we are going to target to help us make our marketing campaign go viral. Not only that, but we can use long tail keywords to find specific communities that are actively discussing our niche. Facebook. You can use Facebook to find a qualified audience by entering your niche keyword in the Facebook search bar. Now use the tabs above to collect information. We recommend you to use the People, Pages, and Groups tabs to find active Facebook communities that you can target and to use the Posts, Photos, Videos, and Events tabs to find the most recent conversations around your target topic. Once you have used the search function to collect information, we recommend you to create a Facebook page from where to launch your campaign if you don't have one. Use this page to create posts and content that can attract people organically. And secondly, to promote these posts and content using the Facebook Ads Manager, which you can locate by clicking on the Create Ads option in the profile menu. Remember to use the information that you collect to target users by pages liked, by groups joined, and by interests. Twitter. Twitter is also a great platform to make your campaigns go viral. You will simply have to enter your niche keyword in the search bar. Now in the top results, you will find the posts and accounts that are top of mind at the moment of your research. Look for those tweets with the largest number of retweets and likes. Take note of what they are posting about and follow the links and videos on those tweets. Now simply watch for the accounts posting those tweets and see which ones have the largest number of followers and of follows. Follow those accounts and then look for popular accounts interacting with the tweets posted by those accounts. Now these accounts managers are very likely to follow you back and to retweet your viral campaigns in the future. YouTube. YouTube is one of the best places to make any content go viral. You can either create a viral video campaign or a video to complement your viral campaign. Use short form videos that can be watched fast and shared easily. Also, use the information that you collected on Facebook and Twitter to create your video titles, descriptions and tags, as well as trending images for your thumbnails. Reddit. Reddit is a favorite platform for online marketers because it can help your viral marketing content to gain traction on search engines. Now, don't focus on going viral on Reddit. Instead, 
Focus on using Reddit as a source of ongoing traffic to your viral campaigns by using the Submit a New Link or Submit a New Post features to share your viral marketing campaigns in a casual way. Instagram. You can use Instagram to attract organic traffic to your viral campaigns by making a smart use of the search feature to find hashtags that are associated with your niche keyword and how popular they are. You can also check out these hashtags to see the posts that are tagged with these hashtags. Once you know where to find the people most likely to help you spread your marketing message, you will realize that you will need to have a viral website that you can use to link to your viral marketing campaigns. Ready to set it up? Tune in to our following video to teach you how. Getting started with a viral website. Hey there, my friends. In one of our previous videos, we told you that one of the best ways of delivering viral marketing content is through a viral website. Now, there are certain elements that you need to add to a website to make it help you push viral content out there. And in this video, we are going to show you how to set up a viral website from scratch, step by step. The first step is to look for a domain vendor to buy your viral website's domain and a hosting service where to host your viral website. And we recommend you to use HostGator, as they are our trusted service providers. To buy your domain name, you'll simply have to go to HostGator.com and click on the Domains tab. Use the domain name search bar on that page to look for a custom domain name, check its availability, and add it to your shopping cart. Now to buy hosting service, simply head back to HostGator.com and click on the Web Hosting tab. There, you will see three hosting service plans available. The Hatchling plan, the Baby plan, and the Business plan. We recommend you to select the Business plan, as it allows you to install unlimited domains and to easily install WordPress to set up your viral sites. After you buy your domain name as well as your hosting service plan and register your cPanel profile, you will be able to set up your viral website. Start by logging into your cPanel dashboard. Look for the popular link section and click on Build a New WordPress Site. Now click on the Select Domain for Installation menu. Select the domain where you are going to set up your viral website. Enter the name of your new viral website or blog in the directory field and click on Next. Now you have to register your new WordPress site's info. Start by entering the name of your new viral site in the blog title field. Enter your admin username in the admin user field. This is the username that you will use to log in to your new viral site. Now enter your first name and your last name. Lastly, enter your admin email. Check the Terms of Service Agreement box and click on Install. Now wait until you get an Installation Complete message and save your username and your password. Now click on Log In. And on the next page, simply enter your username, your password, and click on Log In to get inside your new site's dashboard. Now it is time to transform your new WordPress site into an actual viral website. Start by installing a viral theme on your new website. Go to the Appearance tab on the left-hand menu and click on the Theme option. Now scroll down and click on Add a New Theme. There are some really good options out there, and we have two recommendations for you. You can choose somewhere in between according to your budget. To find these themes, you'll simply have to use the Search Themes search bar. Our first recommendation is the Socially Viral Theme which is a premium theme designed to boost social shares, traffic, and revenue. It is currently priced at $59, and it is responsive, speed-optimized, and SEO-ready. Our second recommendation is a human theme, which is a free theme designed to increase your viral traffic and to quickly engage your visitors. It is mobile-friendly and fast. We are going to install this theme on our viral website on this example video to show you how to install your viral theme the right way. Start by clicking on the Install button corresponding to your theme of choice in the Theme Search Results page. Then click on Activate once it installs. You will be taken to the Theme section. Once there, click on the Customize button corresponding to your installed theme. Initially, you will only need to make minimal customizations to your site. First, click on the Edit button located to the left of your blog's name on the header. Start by editing your site's headline in the Tagline field. Now go to the Site Icon section and click on the Select Image button. Now click on Select Files. 
and look for your site's logo image inside your computer. Click on the Select button once it uploads, and remember to check the Display a Logo in the Header option. Awesome! Now click on the Set Your Social Links Edit button and then click on Add New. This will allow you to add social share buttons that people can use to connect to your social media accounts. Start by clicking on the Select an Icon menu to select which social media icons you will add. In our example case, we are going to select the Facebook icon to add our Facebook page to show you how. Once you select the social icon, simply enter your social URL in the Social Link URL field and click on Add It. Awesome! You can do this with as many social pages as you would like to link to, which will help you to increase your chances of going viral. Later customizations such as categories can be done on your own according to your content and your needs. So let's move on to the next step by clicking on the Publish button to save our changes and then on the Close button to go back to the dashboard. The final step to make your WordPress site into a proper viral website is to install Viral Power plugins on it. To start installing these Viral Power plugins, hover over the Plugins tab on the left hand menu and click on Add New. There are two Viral Power plugins that will help your viral website to stay top of mind, to increase your viral traffic and to increase your revenue. The first one is the Shareaholic plugin. To install this plugin, simply type Shareaholic on the Search Plugin search bar. This plugin will allow you to add social sharing buttons to your content, related content recommendations, Add monetization and viral analytics to your site. To install this plugin, you will simply have to click on the Install Now button on the plugin, and then to click on Activate. Lastly, click on the Get Started Now button after installing the plugin, and you will be ready to customize the viral options offered by this powerful plugin. Before we proceed, scroll down to the In Page Share button section and check the Above Content option in the Post, Page, and Index boxes. Now click on Save Changes to continue. Finally, you will have to install a plugin to allow visitors to post social comments on your viral marketing posts. Once again, hover over the Plugins tab on the left hand menu and click on Add New. Now type Facebook Comments in the Search Plugin search bar. Wait for the results to load and locate the Facebook Comments plugin. Now simply click on the Install Now button, then on the Activate button. And that's it! Now your website is ready to deliver your viral marketing campaigns. Tune in to our next video so we can show you the easiest ways to find inspiration for your viral marketing campaign. Getting Viral Marketing Ideas Before Creating Content Hey there friends! To make a viral marketing campaign go viral, you have to either create an original campaign from scratch or to capitalize on a trending topic that can help boost your campaign. The thing is that you will never know for sure how viral a piece of content will go, or for that matter, if it is ever going to go viral. The good news is that there is so much content going viral online at any given time that you will have to simply take a look around to get fresh ideas that you can reverse engineer to help your own marketing campaigns and posts to go viral. In this video, we are going to show you the easiest way to find inspiration for your next viral content. The key strategy is to browse for trending topics at popular online sources and then to leverage those topics to give a viral boost to your own campaigns. BuzzFeed Trending Let's start on BuzzFeed.com, basically the template for most of all websites that aspire to go viral. As you might already know, BuzzFeed is a website mostly dedicated to tracking online viral content, which already makes it an ideal place to look for inspiration. Now, what you might not have known is that the BuzzFeed site has a neat feature called Trending, and you can access it by clicking on the Trending button located on the top bar. As you can see, in this section you will be able to find viral content and trending topics for any niche, and you'll simply have to adapt it to your own posts or campaigns. BuzzSumo Now this site will not help you to find trending topics and viral stuff like BuzzFeed does, because it will instead help you to identify what kind of content and conversations have performed well for any specific topic. 
This means that you can use it to find the most shared content in your niche. You will simply have to enter your target niche keywords in the enter topic search bar and then to click on go. Once you get your results, you will be able to see how much each piece of content has been shared on the most popular social media platforms, as well as the total number of times it has been shared, with the top performers on top. YouTube YouTube is also a great platform to discover what's trending online on any given day. You'll simply have to click on YouTube's left-hand menu, and then to click on the Trending tab to go to the Trending Videos section, where you will be able to find what's viral among YouTube users. Reddit Reddit is one of the best places to discover trending topics because it only aggregates viral content making a lot of noise right at the moment it reaches the site's homepage. The cool thing about Reddit is that it will allow you to discover memes, viral macro images, articles, or keywords that you can use as quick leverage on your viral website to generate viral traffic organically. What's Trending What's Trending is also an excellent source of trending topics that you can work into your own viral content. It is easy to use and even shows you content that is trending in real time, as well as predictions about content that can go viral at any moment's notice. HubSpot's Blog Idea Generator Lastly, there is a tool that you can use once you have found inspiration for your next piece of viral content yet have a hard time getting started. HubSpot's Blog Idea Generator is a browser-based tool that will allow you to use keywords to generate blog post title suggestions. You will simply have to enter up to three nouns, one on each noun field, and then to click on the Give Me Blog Ideas button. You will get a list of blog post suggestions that you can use or adapt to your needs. So now you know what the elements are to define a piece of viral content and where to find inspiration for your viral post. It is time for you to learn how to create one for your own viral websites in our next video. So tune in. Creating a Profitable Viral Post Hey there everyone, creating a viral marketing post is easier than you might think. Because a viral marketing post is a viral post in which you are going to add an element of monetization, such as a sales page or affiliate link to name a few. And we are going to show you how to create a viral marketing post on your WordPress site. Start on your dashboard, hover over the Posts tab and click on Add New. Let's start with a title. Just like we covered before, numbered titles and teaser titles are the best for increasing viral traffic to your content. So, we are going to work a mixture of both types of titles on our own. So, we are going to type 5 Diabetes Type 2 Treatments. Number 1 might shock you in the title text area. Next comes the post images. Start by clicking on the Add Media button. Now, there are two types of media that you can insert in your viral posts. First, Insert the featured image, which will be the image featured on your post header and right under the title. Simply click on the Featured Image tab and then either upload the image from your computer or add one from your media library. Once you select your featured image, click on Set Featured Image to continue. Now, the second type of viral post image is the images that you will insert into your post. And you will simply have to click on the Add Media button, select the image that you are going to insert on your post, and then click on Insert into Post. Let's now compose our viral post content. As you can see here, it is a long form list article designed to go from the last item on the list all the way to the first. Now there are two reasons why we teased the first item in our list in the title. The first reason is because this has the effect of making people curious as to why item number one will shock them as described in the title. And secondly, because we are going to use item number one to promote an affiliate link to a product which offers a solution to the issues outlined in the article. What we are going to do is to insert the affiliate link where it corresponds, such as where the product is mentioned. Please keep in mind that this is not the only monetization option that you can integrate into your viral posts. And you can perfectly create viral marketing posts to earn ad revenue or increase visits to your online store. The idea is to create a viral post that you can use to drive sales or to generate revenue from your preferred method. Now before you publish your new viral post, make sure to insert tags in the tag section using keywords that you found when you looked for inspiration following the steps outlined in the previous videos. 
This will help you to make it easier for your target audience to find and share your viral posts. Now, simply click on Publish and Post. Are you ready to go several steps above? Well, make sure to tune in to our following section so we can teach you how to go viral on social, on video, and on email, as well as some advanced level strategies to increase your viral traffic and conversions. See you there! Hey there, my good friends, and welcome to Section 3 of our Viral Marketing Video Training Series, Advanced Viral Marketing Strategies. Here we are going to show you how to expertly deliver your viral marketing campaigns across the most relevant channels like a pro. The contents in this section include going viral with video, going viral on social media, using StumbleUpon to go viral easily, going wildly viral with email contests, crazy secret viral marketing tactics at work, and optimizing your viral marketing campaigns. So fire this up with Section 3's first video. Going viral with video. You might be familiar with online videos going viral all the time, but have you wondered how they do it? How do they reach 2 million views in just 2 days? Granted, most viral video marketing campaigns are backed by huge budgets and big names. But how do brands that are just getting started use video to go viral? It all starts with having an awesome, entertaining, relevant video where your brand is only featured at the end with an invitation to visit your viral website. Once you have created your video, you have to upload it online. Now, some marketers believe that in order to go viral, you need to upload your video to as many channels as possible. But it is going to be enough if you upload and seed your viral video on a single platform and we recommend you to use YouTube. Start by clicking on the Upload button while signed in on YouTube. Then click on Select Files to Upload. Look for your viral video on your computer, and double-click on it to start uploading it. Now you can start entering your viral video's info while you wait for it to upload. Let's start with a title. Multiple case studies on viral videos that have gotten over 1 million views in less than 2 days have found the core elements of a viral video title. First, it has to be easy to identify with the audience's perspective, which means that your video title addresses your audience's wants and needs. And secondly, it has to include a strong verb or action phrase to reinforce the positive impact that will make your title resonate. The last elements are a benefit and the surprise. Your title has to tell your audience why it will be good to check your viral video now. So, we are going to use this information to create our title with our target audience in mind. So, we are going to type, How I Killed My Diabetes With Food, and how you can do it too. As you can see, we are telling our target audience how we killed our diabetes, which is what they want to know how to do. And we are telling them that we did it with food, which adds an element of surprise and a wow factor. And we are telling them how they can do the same, which is the benefit. Once you create a viral title, you won't need to describe your viral video further in the description field. But we recommend you to add links to your viral website, your store, your sales pages, and to your social media accounts, as that's what you want to monetize after people watch your viral video. Now add tags to your video. Use only relevant keywords. Lastly, click on Publish to post your video. All right. So once you upload your video, you have to actually start marketing your viral video if you want to make it to go viral. Start by posting it to Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit, and ask people you trust to share it. Then look for authoritative blogs in your niche and nicely ask them if they would like to post and discuss your video. For most blogs, this will be a great deal, as long as your video is good and shareable, because it will be a source of traffic for them. Once your video starts getting shared and linked to, it will make it to YouTube's front page. Want to learn more? Then tune in to our following video where we are going to teach you how to go viral on social media the easy way. Going viral on social media. Hey there, my friends. One of the best things about social media platforms 
is that they are a lot like open chat rooms, where information gets passed over quickly and where truly engaging content has a great chance of going viral. So how can you easily go viral on social media? You have to start by creating a social persona or a social media profile that reflects your target audience. In our case, we've designed the DCME, which is the social persona that represents our diabetes care made easy business on social media. As you can see, we have created variations of the same persona with profiles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This will allow you to find followers that can recognize you as an authority and that can help you to spread your viral content. Now, you have to learn how to create social media posts that go viral. To go viral on social media, you have to follow a series of steps on each one of your social posts, with slight variations on each platform, and we are going to show you the standard viral post layout by creating a viral Facebook post. First, you will need an engaging piece of visual content, which might be an image or a video. Make sure to always upload images and videos directly to the social platform that you are going to use. In our case, we are going to use the same video we used to go viral on YouTube. So we start by adding it to our post with the add photo or video button. Once your media is uploaded, you'll have to create the post headline. Because you are going to go viral on social media, go with text that encourages involvement with the post and the content. In our case, we are going to use the Welcome to the 7 Days Healthy Food Challenge. Are you in? Adding emojis to your headline make it more visual and engaging. So make sure to add one or two that make sense on your headline. Then we are going to add a shortened URL to our viral website by going to Bitly in our browser. Paste our website's address in the Paste a Link to Shorten bar and then click on Shorten. Then we will click on Copy, go back to our post, and paste the shortened URL in the headline. Now we are going to click on Tag Friends to tag people that can help us make this post go viral. Now you'll be ready to publish your viral post, so simply click on Post to finish. You will be able to pull this off on other social channels as well, but with slight variations. On Twitter and on Instagram, for instance, you will benefit from adding relevant hashtags to your headlines and from using short-form videos. And that's it. Apply these strategies and you'll soon discover the benefits of using social media to go viral. Next up, we will be teaching you how to advertise your content on StumbleUpon to go wildly viral. So make sure to tune in. Using StumbleUpon to go viral easily. Hello there, my friends. You might already know StumbleUpon as an easy-to-use content discovery engine that can help you boost traffic to your content. But you might not be aware about the platform's paid discovery service. The StumbleUpon ad service allows publishers and brands to reach the right audience with targeted content distribution. It will help you to make any kind of content with a URL go viral by letting you target your audience by age, gender, location, device, and interests. To start using the service, start by going to the ads.stumbleupon.com URL in your browser, and then clicking either on Get Started to Sign Up or on Sign In to log in to your StumbleUpon Ads account. Once in your account, you'll simply have to click on Create New Campaign. Now you will be asked to enter your promoted URL, a name for your new campaign, and a campaign template, both of which are optional you will be allowed to insert any type of URL to promote in the Enter URL field. And in our case, we are going to enter our viral post URL in order to directly funnel viral traffic from StumbleUpon to our viral post, from where it will be easier to monetize our campaign. Now you will have to target your audience. You will be able to target people by age, gender, device, location, and interests. In our case, we are going to target people aged 33 to 59 of all genders. We will leave all devices checked, and we will uncheck the All Locations option to target only English-speaking countries where people are more likely to spend money online. Now, in the Interests section, you will have three different ways to set up your target interests. You can simply type in your interests in the Search Interests bar to add them to your target interests. 
or you can either select interest bundles to select your target interests as predefined bundles or precise targeting to select your target interests from a list of categories. In our case, we are going to select precise targeting, then we are going to select the health category, then the health condition subcategory, and then diabetes as our target interest within the subcategory. Now we are going to also select the health solution subcategory and then weight loss and health as our target interests within that subcategory. Lastly, you will have to budget your campaign. Here, you will have to enter your daily budget first, and we recommend you to start on a $20 to $25 daily budget. Then you will have to select either to spend your budget evenly or ASAP if you want to reach people as quickly as possible. Then you will have to schedule your campaign, and you can simply leave both start and end fields blank if you don't want to set a schedule. Lastly, you will have to put a price to each stumble or person discovering your content with higher amounts increasing the priority of your ad. Here, we recommend you to check the Engaged Visitors Only option to automatically set a proper price that will help you reach engaged targets only. Once you are ready to launch your campaign, you will simply have to click on Submit and wait for your content to start going viral. And that's it! going wildly viral with email contests. Hey there, my friends. People love free stuff. So it's no surprise that offering a valuable prize in exchange for referring your content is one of the easiest ways to make it go viral. The good news is that it is easy and affordable to do, and we are going to show you how in this video. First, you will need to join Gleam, an easy-to-use contest marketing platform. You will simply have to go to gleam.io on your browser, click on sign up, and complete the registration process. Once you sign up, you will have to log in to be able to create awesome contests the easy way. As you can see, there are several types of contests that you can create. And the one that will help you to get the most viral forwards and shares is the Refer a Friend Contest. The Refer a Friend Contest will allow you to include email actions and viral sharing in your competitions. And you'll need to upgrade your Gleam account to a premium plan in order to set up Refer a Friend contests. So in this video, we are going to show you how to set up a contest that you can use to promote your viral post on email as well as to encourage subscribers to share it. Start by clicking on the New Competition button. First, enter the name of your contest in the Name field. We recommend you to always use a combination of the name of the prize that you are going to offer and the action required to enter the contest. In our case, we are going to name it Read On to Win an Easy Touch Test Strip Stripe Pack. Now click on the User Details tab and paste your Facebook page's URL in the Allow Users to Like a Facebook Page field. Now click on the How to Enter tab and select the Visit a Page option. In the Title field, Enter a call to action to tell your subscribers to follow on the link. In our case, we are simply going to use the name of the contest here. Now check the mandatory and daily entry options to increase daily traffic to your viral website. Now enter your viral post URL in the link URL field. Lastly, check the automatically complete option to continue. Now click on the prize tab and enter the name of your prize in the name title field and enter the number of winners in the number of winners field. Now click on save to finish setting up your contest. On the following page, click on the URL located under landing page and then copy that same URL when you're redirected to it. Now you will simply have to set up an email campaign to forward the contest to your subscribers. In our case, we are going to use MailChimp so we start by going to our MailChimp account. Once there, we are going to click on create campaign and then on the Create an Email option. Now we are going to name our campaign and click on Begin to start creating our email. First, we are going to click on Add Recipients. Then we are going to click on the Choose a List menu to select our subscriber list. We are going to send this campaign to all subscribers in our list, so we click on Save to continue. Now we are going to click on Add Subject to add our subject line. For this campaign, we are going to add the name of our Gleam contest as our subject line. We save, 
and then click on Add From to add the campaign's sender's name and email address. We save again and then click on Design Email. In the Select Template page, we are going to click on the Themes tab to look for a theme that fits our contest. So we select the Competition Invitation theme. Now what we will simply do is to click on the Edit buttons corresponding to each block in the design to replace the logo and the image with our brand logo and the image of our prize using the Replace option. Now we are going to edit the text in the email to describe our contest. Lastly, we are going to click on the Enter Now button to add our contest URL in the web address field. Now we will click on Save and Close to continue. Now that we are done, we will have to schedule or send this campaign. We want to send it off now, so we simply click on Send, and then on Send Now to forward it immediately to our subscribers. And that's it! You are about to go viral with the power of email contests. Crazy Secret Viral Marketing Tactics at Work Hey there, my friends. Taking shortcuts gets a bad rep because it is more often than not associated with cheating. But a lot of times taking a shortcut simply means to apply a highly efficient strategy that will allow you to get faster results. Here are some of the best viral marketing tactics that have allowed us to bypass the hardest steps. Getting viral third-party coverage. Getting press mentions and third-party coverage is one of the most precious milestones of online marketing for two reasons. One, because it is difficult to achieve. And second, because it significantly increases content exposure. This strategy, also known as backlink building, is all about getting popular and authoritative sites, content creators, and influencers to share your content. Now, this is not easy to do for a number of reasons. Authoritative sites and popular content creators are inundated with content sharing requests on a daily basis, so they're very likely to simply ignore them on the basis of surplus connection requests. What these sites and content creators crave is valuable content that they can publish and share in order to keep their audiences engaged. In that respect, they are after the same type of content that their audiences want, and they are as likely to share it when such content offers them the benefit of being engaging. Now, there are a lot of marketers that will recommend you to simply create the most awesome and shareworthy content possible and to keep posting it a minimum of three times a week because that will help you to be eventually discovered and shared by one of these authoritative figures. And while that is a noble strategy, you will basically be counting on the good fortune of being discovered eventually at some random point over time. If you want to build backlinks and get authority status faster, you will need to apply the following steps. Find, collect, and list a considerable number of relevant bloggers, columnists, video bloggers, and other content creators. Research them and take notes of the type of content that they create. Pay special attention to those who create for bigger online publications or those who have large followings and important sponsors. Compile their contact details. Create short-form and long-form pieces of newsworthy content that these authority bloggers, sites, and content creators can continually share on their own periodical content pieces. Craft individual pieces of personalized email copy to pitch your content based on what you researched about these authority figures and contact them. Keep your email copy short and to the point. Try to add a personalized element based on the type of content the recipient creates or covers on his or her pieces. Keep track of successful conversations and responses. Work on creating a meaningful professional relationship with the ones that gave you a positive response. Get featured on others' newsletters. Once you have created a professional relationship with these authoritative figures, you will need to move on to the next step, which is to be featured in their newsletters, as this will immensely increase your viral reach even when you don't intend to. Remember, this is email we are talking about. So how do you go about asking these popular figures to share your content with their email contacts? You have already done the hardest part, which is to make them like your content so much as to make them share it. Now. You will simply have to start by pitching an email-friendly version of your content to them before actually launching it to the public. But you'll have to show them that you respect and appreciate their authority status by incentivizing them to email your content. 
paying them for the link placement, or sharing back their content everywhere you publish your own content are great incentives. Think outside the box. We already mentioned that one of the key ingredients of viral marketing is to add a shocking element of surprise to your marketing material. Using your services or products in an unusual way will help you to achieve this effect. Take, for example, Blendtec, a company that made its products popular thanks to its powerful Will It Blend video ad campaign, where they showed their blenders blending the latest products of the time, such as iPhones and video games. Reward your audience. Nothing spreads as virally as a good sweepstake. People love to get free stuff. And you can get lots of exposure by encouraging people to share your content when you tell them that the more they share, the more chances they will get to win your promoted prize. Take your campaign out in the wild. This strategy will require you to actually go out and take action on the streets. But it will help you to go viral in ways you didn't know were possible. Now, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. You will simply have to go somewhere that you know you are likely to find people in your target audience. And once there, you will have to gather a group of people whom to promote your product, website, or service through a quick giveaway. Once you select a winner, make sure to leave everyone a flyer or sticker with your website and social media profiles URLs, or add them to a messaging group and tell them that you are going to run a new giveaway with more prizes at a different location. Set a date for the reveal and ask them to spread the word in the meanwhile. The possibilities are endless. Optimizing your viral marketing campaigns. You can expect your viral marketing campaigns to go on forever. In fact, viral marketing campaigns are all about maintaining momentum until their capacity for replication and outreach are depleted. Here are the best ways to keep your viral campaigns relevant long after the thrill is gone. Make your content blogworthy. Bloggers all around the internet are always on the hunt for blogworthy content, and their efforts are coincidentally a great opportunity to increase your reach while your campaigns are going viral and after your campaigns have gone viral for two reasons. One, because a well-planned viral campaign will always be worth talking about no matter how much time has passed since it went live. And secondly, because it gives bloggers something to post about on their blogs. This will not only help you to further seed and spread your viral campaigns, but also to build backlinks to your content, which will in turn increase your traffic open up new lead capturing sources, and pave the way for new referral conversions and sales. Now, the first step into maintaining your content blogworthy is to always keep it fresh and visually pleasing. Keeping it fresh means to update it with notes and references, and keeping it visually pleasing means to keep the content visually consistent with the rest of your site. After a certain time, you will want to add the logos of some of the most relevant blogs that have shared, covered, or featured your viral campaigns to your content as that will help you to further build brand relevance and recall. Include the right share buttons. It is no secret that the more ways you give your audience to share your content, the more it will be shared. And share buttons are great for encouraging social sharing. But you have to know what share buttons are right for your campaign. Not only that, but you will need to stay vigilant and learn where your content is being shared and what audiences are being exposed to your viral campaigns in order to add or eliminate certain share buttons on your campaigns. For example, if you see that your viral campaigns are reaching the 20-somethings demographic of graphic designers and gamers, add share buttons for sites such as YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, and StumbleUpon. If they're reaching 40-year-old book lovers, add share buttons to Facebook. If they're reaching female gym lovers in their 30s, add share buttons for Instagram and Pinterest. Use customized hashtags. The idea behind viral marketing is to make sharing your content an effortless task, and customized hashtags are a great way to expand brand awareness when going viral. Universal hashtags are, of course, important. But unless they're about something with evergreen potential, such as the giveaway hashtag, they will only get you as far as their trending power lasts. Now, when you create custom hashtags for business, the idea is to create a hashtag with the right combination of keywords in order to make it persist over time. Leverage middle of content calls to action. Make sure to update your lead funnel offerings in your viral content after launch by including updated versions of your opt-in forms, newsletter signups, affiliate links, and free trial CTAs at the middle of your viral content to retain new visitors. 
Use Reddit to build links. Let's get this out of the way first. Going viral on Reddit is not easy. However, having an engaged Reddit community can help you wonders, thanks to the way the Reddit algorithm works. The first method is by creating a subreddit for your brand where you can make your viral stories more visible. There, you can use Reddit's social button to make it easier for users on the platform to share and upvote your content. The second method is by using Reddit's own sponsored link and self-serving advertising options. Both methods are guaranteed to give you a permanent source of referral traffic coming from your viral campaigns, no matter how much time has passed since launch. Hello there, my good friends. Welcome to Section 4 of our Viral Marketing Video Training Series, Additional Tips to Consider. In this last section, we are going to take a look at additional but very valuable viral marketing tips and other data that will give you an intellectual advantage that you can put in practice to even top the experts in your online marketing efforts. Contents in this section include do's and don'ts, premium tools and services to consider, shocking case studies, and frequently asked questions. So, let's kick this off with Section 4's first in-line video. Do's and Don'ts Do's Create with emotions in mind. Marketing content goes viral when it hits an emotional chord in your audience. So always make sure to create unique, humorous, positive content regardless of whether you will be sending your marketing message through written word or visually rich media. Make it easy to share your content. Viral marketing is all about allowing your audience to spread your content through viral sharing which means that you'll have to make sharing as easy as possible by including social media buttons, embed codes, and forwarding calls to action in every placement that your content is posted. Create a viral marketing plan. Marketing campaigns rarely go viral in the way that random viral content does. Your viral marketing campaigns have to be well planned. They have to make sense at a brand activity level. And they have to generate a business-centric result, such as creating buzz, building brand awareness, or driving sales. Follow-up. Don't be a one-hit wonder. Always follow up your viral marketing campaigns after they end to keep engagement alive by posting follow-up videos, blog posts, behind-the-scenes content, or sequel campaigns. Do something unexpected. One way to spark curiosity and make content go viral is by simply adding an element of surprise on your marketing materials such as creating quirky video thumbnails or thought-provoking headlines. Know who you are targeting at first. Make sure to only reach qualified targets when you first launch your viral campaign, as only targets that are potentially interested in your content will start to virally share it with their like-minded contacts. It will spread like crazy everywhere else from then on. Focus on storytelling. Your marketing content and message has to follow a story with punch in order to encourage people to pass it on to others. Remember, even the simplest of memes have been about telling some sort of story. Tease your audience. Spark your audience's curiosity by not telling them exactly what your campaigns are all about. Teasing them with small tidbits of your content in titles or thumbnails, leaving them hanging and eager to click and share. Be prepared for unexpected outcomes. Sometimes viral campaigns don't go the way they were intended to. Sometimes they turn out to be 100 times more successful than their creators expected. And sometimes they end up getting overwhelmingly negative responses. So be prepared. Participate. Viral marketing campaigns are a great opportunity to step in and join the conversation by interacting with your base audience. Don'ts. Don't go negative. Negative or vulgar content often goes viral just because they trigger curiosity tied to negative emotions such as anger or sadness, which isn't good for a brand or a business. So don't get negative just for the sake of being controversial. Don't auto-post. Make sure to not post the same message on every channel, and instead, take the time to create a well-timed editorial to best fit every one of your target platforms. Don't blast people on social media. You don't have to post incessantly on social media to go viral. In fact, that will only help you to annoy people. Instead, let people be the ones to post incessantly for you. Your message will get the attention it deserves, and your campaigns will go viral beyond your intended reach. Don't put your brand at the forefront. Don't focus your viral campaigns on your brand. Simply focus on creating emotionally charged content that is sponsored by your brand 
and that is consistent with what it offers. This will allow you to generate levels of brand recall that not even paid advertising can match. Don't restrict access. Don't tease your target audience with an awesome headline or image to then send them to a paywall or registration page. That will only cause most people to move on to something else. Don't clickbait. Don't create misleading titles or images in the hopes of getting more attention and clicks, as that will only kill your brand's reputation before you have a chance to go viral. Don't overproduce. Your marketing material doesn't need to look overtly professional in order to go viral. In fact, the opposite works best because people are more attracted to and are more likely to share authenticity. Don't tell people how to react. The emotions created by your viral campaigns have to be consistent with your message. So don't try to tell people what type of reaction you are looking to elicit, or you will risk losing the viral punch. Don't argue with your audience. Some people react negatively to your viral content, and that's okay. The idea behind viral marketing is to spread your message by encouraging sharing and sparking brand-centric conversations. So don't respond to harsh comments yourself, as that will only give your brand a bad rap. Don't be misleading. Creating a viral marketing campaign focused on a fictional premise or character is not bad, as long as you are transparent about it from the onset, or if you gradually unravel the truth. But don't try to keep a marketing lie buried, because it will backfire. Premium Tools and Services to Consider Viral Sweep Viral Sweep is an all-in-one viral marketing platform that will provide you with all the right tools to achieve the most important marketing goals right from the onset because it will allow you to rapidly grow your list through viral sweepstakes and contests, to build beautiful and embeddable email forms, to hire influencers through the Viral Sweep platform to promote your campaigns for you, and to partner with other brands that can help you viralize your content further. Ruzzit.com Ruzzit is a site that aggregates viral content in video, image, and text formats, and is one of our top most recommendations for you when you need to look for inspiration to create your next viral campaigns, or simply when you need your brand to stay top of mind through trending updates. Viral Seeding Viral Seeding is a premium platform that specializes in viral content seeding as well as an influencer marketing agency that is equipped to create results-oriented viral campaigns that are tailored to your most immediate business needs. Prefinery Prefinery is a viral marketing tool that will allow you to integrate engaging sign-up forms everywhere. Now, these are not your normal run-of-the-mill sign-up forms because they capture email addresses to build waiting lists that accelerate viral growth through drip email campaigns that encourage viral sharing once your campaigns launch. Viral Loops Viral Loops is a revolutionary template-based viral marketing solution for modern marketers. It will allow you to run referral-based activities such as viral content campaigns and giveaways, all through a single plug-and-play platform. All that you'll have to do is to select a template that best suits your business and your marketing goals. Webster. Using hashtags is a great way of giving your content some extra attention and discoverability potential. Websta is a website that will help you to find the most widely used hashtags on any given day, so you don't have to comb for them on social media. Norbert Email is still a great way of spreading viral marketing campaigns, and the more contacts that are able to forward a viral message, the better. Norbert is an online-based tool that can help you to find qualified email leads based on data such as names, companies, and corporate websites. Leads that you can leverage later on as part of a network of contacts that can help you to take your viral content out there. Detective Detective is an awesome tool that will allow you to know your email contacts better after capturing them. It helps you by prospecting your leads on autopilot so you are better prepared to serve them the most appropriate content before launching your next viral campaigns. Buffergram Buffergram is a professional social media automation, scheduling, and publishing service that can help you to better manage your viral marketing campaigns in one of the most viral-friendly social environments available. Instagram ViralShot ViralShot is an online marketing agency that specializes in viral marketing and social media marketing and their experts will be able to generate campaigns 
that are tailored to your needs once you're ready to go viral. Spread awareness, generate massive traffic, lots of leads, and social media interactions. Shocking case studies. Google Android. Google Android, or most commonly known simply as Android, is Google's own mobile operating system, which is currently the most widely used by smartphone manufacturers because of its open source nature. Objective. Google's objective was to further raise awareness about its Android brand by creating a piece of highly shareable content that could work as an extension of its brand message. Strategy. Google produced a short spot featuring unconventional pairs of animals interacting. Aptly titled Friends Forever, the video was intended to elicit strong emotional responses linked to feelings of friendship to expand the brand's be together, not the same message. Results? The emotional factor in play, combined with the overall cuteness of the video, has made it the single most shared video ad of all time, with over 6.4 million shares across all channels. Loctite. Loctite is the name of a popular glue maker from Germany. It produces adhesives, sealants, and a wide variety of surface treatments that are used by industries and hobbyists all around the world. Objective. The company's objective was to reach the new generation of digital savvy youngsters that might have not heard of the brand or used its products up to that point. Strategy. Loctite spent its entire annual marketing budget on a bet when they commissioned a marketing agency to produce a Super Bowl commercial for the brand. This agency created a funny video ad featuring everyday people using Loctite's products to fix stuff and doing the Loctite dance at the end of the ad. Results? The goofiness and positive feelings evoked by the video paid off big time, with over a million impressions on YouTube alone increased brand recall among the target audience, and increased sales. McDonald's McDonald's is one of the world's most popular fast food chains. In fact, it is the second largest fast food restaurant chain based on the number of locations around the world. Objective. McDonald's wanted to recapture the attention of young members of its target audience who were heading to other fast food restaurants, dropping McDonald's market share as low as 12.9%. Strategy. The company crafted a video ad to promote its Pay With Lovin' campaign, which encouraged people to go to any McDonald's location for the chance to pay for their meals with selfies, hugs, smiles, and the such. Results? The campaign was an instant viral hit, generating over 8 million views on YouTube within the first four days of going live. It was such a viral success that customers and employees started uploading their own videos of them paying with friendly gestures. Old Spice Old Spice is a very popular American brand of grooming products for males. Objective. The brand wanted to change its image to appeal to males aged 17 to 35 years old, who favored a brand such as Axe and Dove. Strategy. The company created a character that came to be known simply as the Old Spice Guy, and who was featured in a series of ads that later invited consumers to submit their own comments and sections on the company's social media channels. Results? The Old Spice Guy campaign generated viral levels of response from the get-go, with the interactive questions ad generating 5.9 million views on YouTube in a single day and a 125% increase in sales. Whiskas Whiskas is a worldwide popular brand of cat food which products can be easily recognized by their purple color packaging and stylized logo. Objective The brand wanted to expand its influence among targets in the kitten lover audience and to increase awareness about its wide selection of products. Strategy. Whiskas partnered with Google and a media agency to create a series of educational videos aimed at cat lovers to be promoted on a YouTube channel, which they aptly named Kitten College. Results? The Kitten College campaign totally exceeded the company's expectations. It generated more than 39 million views, as well as a 47% lift in ad recall. Also, it drove positive changes in people's perceptions of Whiskas as a brand, according to some people involved in the campaign. DC Shoes DC Shoes is an American sportswear brand made popular by its skateboarding shoes. It also manufactures apparel, bags, accessories, hats, shirts, and posters. Objective The brand wanted to reinvigorate its brand image and message by leveraging brand loyalty. Strategy 
The brand partnered with biker Robbie Madison to record a video of him riding waves on his bike in Tahiti. The goal of the video was to give its fan base the chance to share a campaign that went way out of the ordinary while maintaining an authentic organic flair. Results? The Pipe Dream campaign was a massive viral success. It garnered over 9 million views on YouTube within 48 hours, and it promoted enhanced brand awareness for DC Shoes. Chris Gimmer Chris Gimmer is an online entrepreneur, best known as the founder of the BootstrapBay.com website, a marketplace for themes built the Bootstrap framework. Objective Chris's objective was to generate awareness about his newly founded website among the Bootstrap theme niche audience. Strategy Chris used the most popular type of content in his niche to create an improved version of it in one of his site's blog posts to promote sites that offered free stock photo. He then promoted his blog post on Reddit and StumbleUpon. Results? Chris's piece was a viral success right from the start, as it generated over 17,000 visitors to his website in a single day, and has been shared over 240,000 times on social media, which are big numbers for a new niche-centric website. Listerine Listerine is an oral care products brand mostly known for its cool mint line of mouthwashes. Objective. Listerine wanted to tackle the young Hong Kong-based audience by encouraging the use of Listerine mouthwash before important moments as a way to increase brand awareness and sales in the region. Strategy. The brand created a viral video ad campaign where they showed a brand ambassador practicing his romantic advanced gestures with a lady while emphasizing the importance of good oral health. The audience was encouraged to participate in the campaign by sharing their own versions of the video ad. Results? The viral video ad generated over 100,000 views within the first 100 hours of the campaign's launch, as well as over 2,000 branded experiences and product sample requests. Dollar Shave Club The Dollar Shave Club is a California-based company that delivers personal grooming products to its customers by mail on a subscription basis. Objective the company needed to go from startup to profitable business as fast as possible under a small budget. Strategy The brand commissioned a video ad campaign charged with humor, sarcasm, and wit to promote their grooming products. They kept the message simple, straight, and highly targeted. Results? It only took one video for the company to go insanely viral. Their website crashed in the first hour of the campaign's release due to the amount of traffic. Its YouTube channel gained over 12,000 subscribers within 48 hours, and the company rapidly grew to 900,000 subscriptions and $60 million in sales, all from one viral video ad campaign. Visa Visa is a large multinational corporation that offers financial services across the world. Objective Visa's objective was to influence decision makers in banks, merchant businesses, and governments in the Asian region through relevant content. Strategy. Visa created a Tumblr newsroom section where it released engaging video content to discuss serious topics such as innovation and economics. It then reached out to its audience by leveraging content searches on premium publisher sites. Result? This strategy has earned Visa ongoing viral success, with a 270% increase in click-through rates, a 95% increase in new daily visitors, and a steady 75,000 engaged users daily. Frequently Asked Questions Why is viral marketing labeled as, well, viral? The simplest explanation as to why viral marketing is called viral is because it spreads a message that self-replicates like a virus. The term precedes digital marketing and was first coined in the 1990s. Once viral marketing reached digital distribution, it started to be described as an idea that spreads like a computer virus, with targets of a campaign getting infected and spreading the message. Should all online marketing campaigns strive to go viral? Not all brands, products, or services will benefit from a viral marketing campaign. Indeed, there have been cases of viral marketing campaigns backfiring. Ask yourself, will my offer benefit from being tied to a viral message that might cause my targets to only recall the campaign and not my brand? Is the word viral a way to describe any successful online marketing campaign? People tend to confuse being viral with being wildly successful. But there is a series of subtle differences in between. First and foremost, 
Viral campaigns are planned in advance with the intention of going viral through a very specific message, whereas most marketing campaigns are simply set up to reach a very specific niche subset of a target audience. What that means is that viral campaigns are designed to reach as many people as possible, wherever possible, and at the fastest rate possible. While common marketing campaigns are designed to reach as many people as possible within a qualified target audience. The idea behind the viral approach is mainly to create massive awareness about a brand or product in order to drive additional marketing objectives, depending on people's response to the campaign. On the other hand, the basic online marketing approach pursues a set of very specific marketing objectives from the very beginning, such as driving sales or creating engagement. Secondly, viral marketing campaigns are fueled by viral sharing, which is encouraged by delivering emotionally charged or highly entertaining content with high probabilities of being shared. While basic marketing campaigns are driven by delivering relevant content through organic marketing channels and paid advertising. Lastly, viral campaigns are not necessarily considered successful when they don't help a business to achieve profitable marketing objectives beyond the initial short-term impact of going viral. What's the most common shortcoming you can find in failed viral marketing campaigns? The biggest mistake that you will see one failed campaign after another is in not being transparent about what the campaign is all about. And the most common form of this is in disguising an advertising campaign as a viral marketing campaign. The best way to spot a failing campaign is by learning to identify obvious product placement in what otherwise looks like organically produced online material. Is viral marketing the same as guerrilla marketing? No. And in fact, they're pretty different forms of marketing. Yet people tend to confuse both terms because both are designed to generate quick and massive user responses. As we all know by now, viral marketing is simply a way of delivering a highly shareable form of marketing message to be spread by the target audience. On the other hand, guerrilla marketing is an unconventional marketing method that allows marketers to break common marketing rules, such as positioning marketing campaign content on a single placement for an extended period of time as the idea behind guerrilla marketing is to create a huge impact with unexpected activities. Flash mobs and advertising in front of a competitor's business location are examples of guerrilla marketing. What should you consider before launching a viral marketing campaign? First, you have to consider that viral marketing campaigns are seeded, not launched. Seeding a viral marketing campaign means that you have to investigate where is the best place to start promoting your campaign. In other words, you have to look where your audience hangs online, so you can seed your campaign in there. Secondly, you have to consider how you are going to measure the success of your campaign after it reaches peak sharing to decide on your next move, considering all the possible outcomes. Should you have to offer a reward to incentivize viral sharing? Not necessarily. Unless you are promoting a sweepstake to increase your chances of going viral with a piece of affiliate content, the only reward that your audience will crave is a personal satisfaction of seeing something that they shared being shared tenfold by others. The reward here is the sensation of making a piece of content to go beyond their own reach, which will give your targets a sense of accomplishment, as it makes them feel like it went viral because they liked it. What's the best way to share a viral marketing campaign? It totally depends on the format of the campaign. Is it a very short video or image? Share it on social media. Is it a piece of engaging text? Share it on instant messaging apps. Is it a long-form video? Share it on video sharing platforms. And what if it is a procedurally generated message accompanied by a long-form video that leads to a gated piece of content that you want to go viral by adding an air of exclusivity to it, just like Hotmail and Gmail did in their earlier days? Then share it through email. Seriously, can viral marketing work with private gated content? When done right, yes. It totally can, but mostly because it will drive the opposite effect of staying private. You see, viral marketing campaigns can start private by offering a select group of targets a reward through email or social media messaging, all the while sending it off by accident to recipients that weren't intended to receive word of such a campaign or reward. These types of campaigns get viral soon because the unintended recipients start spreading the word about the seemingly secret campaign until it gets public. What prevents a viral marketing campaign from achieving worldwide reach? Cultural differences and language barriers are the most prevailing causes preventing viral campaigns from reaching a worldwide audience. In order for a viral campaign to achieve worldwide success, it needs to include elements that people around the world can easily identify with. 
Viral marketing campaigns that use slang or specific symbology will get as far as people are able to recognize the campaign's elements.